The digital concept Seikar 24280 is another toy camera that we purchased at Walmart for $19. This is a nifty little camera with a lot of features. Let's look at some of the basic specifications. It has a 640x480 VGA resolution CMOS imager. It has 8 megabytes of SD RAM, which like other cameras means the picture will be lost if the battery runs down. It has no flash, so the indoor pictures will be poor quality, and it has no tripod mount, but it does come with a small stand. The camera is small and thin enough to fit just about anywhere. One great feature of this camera is that it has a built-in rechargeable battery, which recharges from the USB cable. It has a switch on the side to turn the charger on and off. This might very well be the only camera under $20 with a built-in rechargeable battery. One place this camera falls short is in operation. It only has two buttons on the entire camera, a mode button and a shutter button. The idea is that you scroll through the modes with the mode button and select with the other. The problem we run into is that it doesn't have self-explanatory icons like other cameras. What makes it worse is that the user manual seems to be from an entirely different camera. It's half the menu options do not match what the camera actually shows. For example, the manual shows movie mode as being AI. However, the camera has no such option. I learned by trial and error that the movie mode is actually D8. There are two other options listed in the manual, which I can't find at all on the camera. This has been a crippling problem as I haven't been able to figure out how to operate some of the features of the camera. Another pitfall of this camera is the stand. It's very small and flimsy. The base of it is so small that the weight of the USB cable will keep it from standing upright. The stand looks as if the idea was to snap it onto a flat screen monitor or a laptop screen. However, even the thinnest laptop I could find was still way too thick for it to connect to. This camera does not support the USB mass storage driver like you would expect on a more expensive camera. Instead, you'll need to launch their proprietary software which will connect to the camera and download the pictures. The software is extremely simple, as you can see here. First, you click the download button which copies all of the pictures from the camera. Then you click the images or movie clips you want and hit the disk icon which will allow you to save them to your hard drive or other media. If you just want to preview the image, you can just right click the thumbnail. Now, let's look at some pictures taken with the camera. Outdoors, I'd say the images are just about average for a camera of this price range. It suffers from a lot of barrel distortion. If you want to see some full VGA resolution sample pictures, log on to our website and find the camera we view there. So how does it do indoors? Considering it doesn't have a flash, it does about average indoors. So, how is the movie mode? The movie mode is just about average for the camera of this time. The camera also operates as a webcam. Let's take a look at the quality. Okay, this is through the eyes of the Seikar 24280. As you can see, the image quality is not too bad and the frame rate is not too bad. Unfortunately, since the, uh, the uh, stand is so flimsy, I'm just holding the camera out in front of me with my arm. Um, the camera also does support a high-res webcam mode of 640x480, but I'm not currently using that mode uh, because it does sacrifice half the frame rate. So, how does it stand up to our ratings? Keep in mind these ratings are based on the $19 price tag. Well, for image quality, I give it a 3. Indoors, it has no flash, and even outdoors, the barrel distortion is pretty bad. For features, I give it a 3. I would have probably given it less due to the retarded instruction manual and ridiculous stand. However, the rechargeable battery is its redeeming feature. For the movie mode, I give it a 3. It's just about average for this kind of camera. For the webcam, I give it a 4. I only knocked it down from a 5 because of the sad excuse for stand. Otherwise, it would make a great webcam. Overall, this camera is a neat concept, and had some very minor issues been dealt with, it would have scored a lot higher. I'd never give this camera to my four-year-old daughter because she'd never figure it out. 